What is going on guys? We're finally doing the Q&A for this video. I don't know why I'm doing this. So it's taken a while to do this video. I don't know why. I think it's just something that I've kind of held off for a little bit. And I, I honestly, I just don't know why. I prefer to do comic reviews instead. But now we're here and we're going to answer some questions and let's see what you guys have got. So yeah, I've got my laptop on my knee. And yeah, let's do it. So first question is from Michael8374675. Have you ever slid into any DMs? <sighs> Definitely. Did it work out? Uh, no, but me, yeah, I, I don't know. Question from Christian Wolf, aka Infinity is Life 8 on Twitter. How long does it take to film, edit, and upload your videos? Follow up, how tired do you feel after all of that? So the on camera stuff, like me talking to the camera, that usually takes about half an hour altogether. And then for the commentary over the comic review, that takes about an hour and 15 minutes, depending on whether I look at my phone or not. Like seriously, I have to keep my phone out of reach because if I go on that thing, then it could take up to two hours or three hours. And yeah, it's bad. Next question from the Indian boy. What got you into comic books? Well, it's really strange. Like I've always been into Spider-Man like ever since I was a kid, but the comic book side of things, um, there's actually this comic book store in Manchester where I live called Forbidden Planet and that I didn't know that existed like seriously one day my dad took me there and he was like Cameron this is where you buy comics and I was just like what the heck like I was blown away because I've always wanted to buy comics obviously because I'm a Spider-Man fan but I never knew where any of it was and then my dad just randomly did that one day and I was like dad why didn't you tell me this ages ago so yeah ever since then I think I was about 15 or 16 and yeah, that's pretty much how long I've been collecting comics. Or I was 17, I can't remember. Next question from Abdullah Allen. Can you dab? Next question from Maddie, aka Meds underscore no. Uh, your thoughts on Tom Holland's Spider-Man and who do you think played the role of Spider-Man slash Peter Parker best? Well, obviously Tom Holland was amazing as Spider-Man. I think his portrayal of Spider-Man in the Civil War movie was hilarious and probably the best accurate depiction of Spider-Man so far. But as for the best Spider-Man actor, um, I did like Andrew Garfield as Spider-Man, but I have to say Tobey Maguire is my favourite Spider-Man actor so far. Like, I haven't seen Tom Holland properly yet. Like, we've got to see his movie and everything. But Tobey Maguire, I grew up on those Spider-Man movies. So Spider-Man 2 with Dr. Octopus all-time favorite Spider-Man movie because <sighs> question from Sydney AF on Twitter. Hi, I'm new. Love your channel. Which Spider-Man story is your favorite and why? If you're talking about the sagas, then I'd probably say the Back in Black saga from the Amazing Spider-Man comics is my favorite. I've actually reviewed that and it's pretty much where Spider-Man goes crazy and starts breaking everyone's arms and he gets really brutal and basically the gloves are off because Aunt May gets shot. And it's a pretty dark storyline as well. So yeah, that's one of my favorites because it like really shows the true power of Spider-Man really. But as for my favorite comic book, like single issue, it's got to be the Amazing Spider-Man issue 500. And the reason for that is just because it's like a really unique Spider-Man story. It's like, if, it, it's a long story. Like basically what happens is Spider-Man like gets lost in time or something. And when he looks to his left, he can see where it all began. Like he can see him getting bit by the spider and everything. And then when he looks to his right, he sees where he dies pretty much. And he can literally change these things. Like he could stop the spider bite from happening and just ending it all and stuff. And it's a really, really interesting story. And to get back to the present day, he actually has to fight every single villain that he's fought in his entire Spider-Man life. So Kingpin, Electro, Shocker, Sandman, literally all in like one night. Like it's really weird, but it's awesome. Question from Sammy. I, I can't pronounce your last name, but it's on Facebook. Do you have tips to start a YouTube channel and what mic do you use? Uh, microphone I use is the Blue Yeti microphone. I've actually got it behind me and I'll probably insert some kind of B-roll like footage to show you a close-up of it or something like that. It is awesome. The microphone, I literally got it ages ago. It's my first ever mic and it's so good. Like, I, I couldn't have asked for a better microphone to be honest. But yeah, I also have like the Rode um, boom arm attached to it, which is like, like really professional. It's really cool. I actually got that recently. Anyway, next question from Elijah Dark Shadow Hammond Seven on YouTube. If you could be any other hero other than Spider Man, who would it be? Iron Man. Iron Man, straight up, he's rich. He's incredibly intelligent. He makes his own store feet. Like literally, if I was sat here and I could talk to artificial intelligence, and be like, "Yo, Jarvis, do this for me," then 
I'd become the laziest person on the planet. Question from Manuel Ariola. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. That's on Facebook. What was your first Spider-Man game that you played? If I remember correctly, it was the Spider-Man PS1 game. You know, like the original Spider-Man where all the Spider-Man games like originated from. And even people that weren't into Spider-Man played those games. That was so good. And I remember Spider-Man Enter Electro. That was good as well, but not as good as the first one. And that game is actually where it, it started my love for the Mysterio villain. Like Mysterio just beats all of the villains for some reason. Fishbowl head Spider-Man makes a lot of jokes about him, so yeah, it's funny. Next question from Gavin Jones on Facebook. What sort of music do you like? I actually like a lot of music, like, you know, loads of different versions. My main music where I'd go to like a music festival or something like that would be EDM, and that's like electric dance music. You've probably heard of, you know, Steve Aoki and stuff. I don't, I don't listen to Steve Aoki as much, but you know that type of music. Uh, Justin Bieber, guys, he is making some good tunes recently, and you know it, so do not diss me on that. Next question from Marquez Xillion. I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that right, but that's on YouTube. Are you excited about The Flash Season 3? The Flash is so good, and I can not wait. The ending of Season 2, I'm not going to spoil it, but, like, oh, man, I'm getting chills thinking about it. It's so good. Next question from Benjamin Fritz on Facebook. You're 20, if I'm right. How tall are you? Um, I am six foot one, so I'm actually pretty tall compared to like everybody else that I usually meet and giving hugs to people that are smaller than me, really difficult. And Ben also asks, plus can you tell me why you love Spidey? I don't know, I think just growing up with a Spider-Man 90s cartoon and he's so, he obviously so relatable, he's just like us, so, you know, it's, yeah. Next question from M.A. M.A. on YouTube, what's your favourite Spider-Man series? My favourite Spider-Man series in terms of comics is obviously like the Ultimate Spider-Man comics. And if you mean like TV series, then it's got to be either the Spider-Man 90s cartoon or the Spectacular Spider-Man series. That was, like the Spectacular Spider-Man series is crazy good. Like if any of you guys haven't seen it, I suggest like you search it on the internet or something like that. Just watch it, it's awesome. Gaming Comics on YouTube asks, what bags and boards do you use? So if in case any of you guys don't know, uh, when you get a comic and you want to preserve it and it goes into like your collection, you put it in a bag and board. And I actually use Mylar for the bags. Now Mylar is that, well, my lights, whatever you want to call it. Uh, that's actually like the most expensive one in terms of bags and boards, but really they're not that expensive. It's like 20 quid for a bag of 50, which when I think about it isn't really that expensive. But the reason I do this is because over time, regular polythene bags kind of break down and imagine in like 20 years or 50 years or whenever it's going to be that you have to replace the bag of every single comic like in 50 years i'm probably going to have this entire house filled with comics so like i'd rather just not deal with that to spend a little bit of extra money i know uh, for the boards i literally just use some normal boards you know uh just the regular boards that you can get at your comic book store like the boards don't really matter to me it's more to do with like the bags mainly because in case of water damage or anything like that like the bags will protect your comic no matter what so yep nixa comics asks on youtube do you watch anime I don't really watch anime in terms of like proper anime like Pokemon or anything like that. Uh, I do have a friend called George and he has literally seen every single anime you can think of. Shout out to George. Hello. AJ Taka, or I hope I'm pronouncing that right, on YouTube is asking, what is my major? So basically, I'm assuming you're asking what I'm studying at university. I am studying post-production for TV and film. So that's pretty much everything that a movie goes through before it becomes a movie. So filming, editing green screen, CGI, visual effects, like whatever else that movie goes through, like I'm learning it all basically. And obviously YouTube helps with that, like it gives me a bit of experience to do with cameras and microphones and lighting and yeah, it's pretty good. Next question, this guy on YouTube asks, who's your favorite YouTuber? That's actually a really good question and I have quite a lot. Obviously I'm gonna give the standard answer Casey Neistat, he makes some amazing videos and he's actually really inspiring like it makes you think about what you can do with a camera and like the sort of angles you can do and he kind of just he breaks down the walls of what you think is possible to do with filmography and stuff so that's cool uh christian guzman fitness i don't know if you guys have seen that but it's a vlogger he's really cool really inspirational and of course his girlfriend or ex-girlfriend but now he's seen her again called nikki blackater she's also got a cool youtube channel instagram and everything like that so yeah check those guys out the ultimate on youtube asks how many comics do you have? I honestly don't know. I've got every single issue of Ultimate Spider-Man, so that's 160 issues right there. Then I've got some of the variants for Ultimate Spider-Man, so that's probably more issues, so that's close to 200 already. Then I've got all of the Superior Spider-Man comics, all of the Amazing Spider-Man comics from... Just before... Just after Superior Spider-Man. Then we've got Secret Wars, then we've got Civil War, and there's issues that I've picked up previously back in Black Evolve or Die. 
there is endless comics. I, I'll probably just chuck in some footage and show you like the boxes of comics I've got, but yeah, I've got quite a lot. Superdude1200 on YouTube asks, what is your favorite Batman movie? Batman The Dark Knight, Joker, Heath Ledger, insane. I was actually watching that two days ago and it doesn't even look like Heath Ledger is acting. It looks like he's genuinely insane. It's weird, but it's good. Shy Guy on YouTube, who's your second favorite superhero since Spidey is obviously my first. Second favorite superhero is Batman. I know it's not Marvel, but it's DC and Batman is like, have you seen the Batman animated series or the Justice League Unlimited series? Damn, Batman is badass. Ultimate Gamer 379 on YouTube. Also, do you ever feel nervous talking on camera to over 30,000 people? Yes. Now, not so much, but when I first did it, like a, like a month ago when I first came on camera, I was genuinely really nervous because it, it's really strange. It's like you don't know what people are going to say about you. You don't know whether people are going to hate you. or Like, I was quite nervous. I think it's nervous for everybody when you first go on camera for the first time. But uh, I think you just kind of got to bite the bullet and do it. And obviously now that I can create better videos, I can create Q&As like this, I can create comic reviews where I'm actually in the comic. So it worked out. Thank you. Next question from the amazing Spider Key, or Key, what, on YouTube anyway. Can I talk a little bit more about my family and friends and if I have a girlfriend or whatever? Uh, girlfriend, I am seeing someone right now and we pretty much are like together, I suppose, but we don't really know yet. Like, you know, you know what I mean? Like you haven't like kind of discussed that, so. Uh, yeah, it's getting there. Like, I, I'm seeing this person. I've got a cat lay on the floor next to me called Spidey, ironically. I know, I didn't name him Spidey because of Spider-Man. I actually call him Spidey because he chased spiders. Like, I don't even think I liked Spider-Man when I got this cat. Uh, my mum and dad are downstairs. Yes, they are still together. They haven't split up or anything like that. I know they support my YouTube channel and so do my dog and cat. I guess they support it as well. All right, guys, that is it for this video. And I am so sorry that this Q&A took so long to do in terms of, like, a month. But... It's done now, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. I was actually really interested in seeing some of you guys' questions. Now, for any of you guys that didn't know, you can actually follow me on Instagram to stay up to date with the videos. Like, you know that Instagram story sort of thing? Like, every time I'm making a video or recording something or something goes wrong, I actually put up an Instagram story, and you can see where the editing process of my videos are. You can see what's going up next. You can see whether I have a giant Hulk statue sat right in front of me, which I do. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram is basically what I'm saying. And of course, guys, if you like this video, hit the like button. If you want more videos like this and more comic reviews and gaming videos and whatever, hit the subscribe button.